Welcome everybody. How are we all going? Well, I've got a new build. As you can see, we are high up in the mountains on this puppy. Show you an indication of where that is in the map. So we're over here, not far from there, and a bit over from there. This is about as accurate as I'm going to get. Um, as always, these builds take quite some time. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you just the uh, back end of it first. Just a few things down here and quite laughable at that. For a start, look at the placement of, the <laughs> of this uh, foundation, concrete foundation. Hey. Um, obviously the old scavenger collectron. I got that new one, I can't even pronounce its name, it starts with the letter F. Absolutely annoying as fuck. It keeps on going on and on in a stupid drawn out voice and that only says about three different things. So I brought this guy back because he does the job a lot better and he's a hell of a lot funnier than an other piece of shit. Right, now, as most people know who play this game, these medium sized water purifiers must be placed in the ground or in dirt. Uh, okay, I believe you Bethesda, but hey, you know, don't want to knock Bethesda too much for that one. It's actually a huge bonus when you're building on a cliff top. So, here's the side. Got a missile launcher that's covering the, the back end there. Like in all honesty, this place is quiet. I didn't get any trouble from anybody. Great place to live. Okay, so let's go have a looky inside. Heavy machine gun turrets uh, in the middle on both sides. And there's another two at the back. Perhaps we could go have a, a nosy posy down there. And there we go. And there you have it. That's the, the full tour, the full, the full 360, quite amazing. This dog down here doesn't do anything. Anyway, um, yeah, it's really cool when you get in your um, power armor. You can jump down from here, right down to those railway lines below. Um, and it's, it's just kind of a cool thing to do. Now, I just remembered, I can't, <laughs> can't go that way. Um, so let's have a little skip around the the side here. And back in... Alrighty. So I hope everyone, this video reaches everybody well in the world. And they're not having too many issues. We already know about this guy, but for those that don't, you want to be careful going to the toilet here. Okay, the grand entrance to the grand build. Now this time, I tried to pack in a lot more detailing than my last build. So that was the very first video that I made, um, build-wise. Uh, this is the this is the new one clearly. So. Let me know in the comments what you actually think about this one compared to the last one. Am I improving? Is it worse? Be honest. But don't be nasty. All right. So here we are, the workshop area. I think it's a good layout and a good disbursement of various different detailing. I've tried to basically catch the eye, so to speak, everywhere you look. I really love these um, conduits. They, well, for me, I, I think they really, they really make a really cool s statement. The, the rocket 
buddy conduits. They are available in the um, atomic shop. I, I think they're still available. It's um, in my opinion, it's definitely worth getting. You, you would have seen the um, power pylon around by the water purifiers before. Um, it all sort of comes as a bit of a, a package deal. Anyhow, let's just go through to Sophia's little area. She's uh, tapping away there as she does. She, she loves the keyboards and she loves scanning things and yada yada. I gave her some clothes that um, are a hell of a lot better than that horrible space suit. Uh, which you can do now with the latest update. You can upgrade your your ally person thingy. Um, you can upgrade their clothes or change them and customize them and all those fancy words. Anyway, for those that have never seen this, this is a Mothman statue. It's one of my favorites actually. So you hit that and you whack it on back so you can take on full view, full frontal and damn i think that's pretty fucking cool just to be honest so sophia you know you she's always happy to see me i mean what more could a man want woman that's happy to see him plenty of sex and she cooks dinner just perfect really but this is her digs i'll go i suppose i could turn the radio on for her to give her a bit of sounds she's even got a piano to play when she wants to i tell you she's well looked after there's no doubt about that going through to my room where all the action happens all the plans are made for a strategic takedown of any particular part of appalachia and we've got vault boy there who's obviously quite happy to see me and over this side we've got Volt Girl and she's definitely always happy to see me two two girls and one real guy what more can a man ask for so just having a look around you know we've got the fancy jukebox in the corner again we've got that nice wiring job well I think it's nice it's very tidy and it just it just looks cool in my opinion we've got an assortment of bits and bobs on one of the um the actual wooden thing is comes with the bar set but i like to use the the bar set as a kind of a makeshift display um for storing my bits and bobs on you guys would have seen this in the last video and I even had a ride in it for you. It didn't charge you anything extra, so you should be happy about that. And that is the uh, the, the total scenario of this room. And if you haven't noticed, the, the roof line is, is quite different um, in this build. To me, it actually looks like the spine going down the middle and the ribs of perhaps it's a I don't know a big whale or something or a big ship it looks it looks it looks quite cool I think anyway um, so that's that's it really uh this is my my latest build my next video we're going to be going out and exploring again um and killing those nasty beasts they are so nasty not really uh they're not too bad in fact uh just over the the last couple of days they've had that competition whereby you can get double the xp and quite happily i leveled up uh I think it was four levels, four more levels. It was great. I'm now level 90 on the way to 100. It's pretty cool. Well, I won't say bye. 
I'll say see you later because I know you guys will be back for more of this beautiful base building. But like I say, the next one I do will be an action thing and going out and exploring. And the one after that will be another build or an example of what I have built. Well, I really do hope that you have enjoyed your time uh, watching today. And all I can say is come back tomorrow or whenever it is. <laughs> and uh, yeah, leave a, leave, a, leave a comment, but only if you want to. Um, hopefully you, you enjoy the, the show and you enjoy the videos. If you do, I'll keep on making them. Right. So as they say, or as we as as Maori folks say in New Zealand, hey Cornada, catch you next time.